Welcome to another episode of Pathos. My name is Colbert B. Williams, Sr. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and an Anderson & Anderson Certified Anger Management Facilitator. Today we'll be exploring part two of anger management. Before we get into part two, I wanted to clarify a misstatement from our previous episode. Anger is a secondary emotion and not anger management. So I just wanted to make sure that's very clear to everyone that is watching. So moving on to part two. Today we'll be exploring stress and stress management and emotional intelligence. What is stress? Stress is a mismatch between the demands in our life and the resources that we have to those demands. So in handling stress management or identifying stress management, the first step is to identify the stressors and demands that exist in our lives. What are those? It could be interpersonal relationships, it could be finances, it could be our careers, it could be our health, it could be many things. But once we identify those demands, then we move into the second step is identifying the resources to deal with those demands. Those resources may be family, it could be again finances, it can be our support system, our circle, it could be our level of experiences in our particular life journeys, the resources can be our values and beliefs. So there are many resources that we have to deal with stress, but the thing is identifying what those resources are. The third, the third step is once we have identified the resources, then we call, we triage these resources and manage, we'll match them up to the stressors that we've identified. So if it's anger or whatever the stresses may be, um, we'll match them up with those resources. The fourth step is to develop an action plan of resolution to deal with the previous resources and stresses that we've identified. So again, reflecting back on stress and stress management, it's clearly another issue and concept in anger management. When we talk about that secondary emotion that many times when people are, have stressors or that are really causing many different activities in their lives or different struggles, we can really identify, okay, where is that coming from and what are the resources we have to do with those particular stresses and demands. So we are going to move on into emotional intelligence. Now, emotional intelligence is an intuitive, insightful concept of insight and awareness, commonly known as EQ. Um, per George Anderson, I'll quote him, emotional intelligence is listening with your heart. Now, emotion tells there are four concepts or dynamics, if you will, that are common to the human condition. The first dynamic is empathy, the ability to understand someone else's feelings. The second dynamic is compassion, the ability to care and to give to someone else. The third dynamic is cooperation, the ability to work together to achieve a common goal. And the fourth one is forgiveness, the ability to pardon someone for a grievance against you or against someone or something that you care about. Now, reflecting back on some of our previous topics, particularly interpersonal relationships, emotional intelligence is one of the key factors or dynamics in the foundations of all personal interpersonal relationships. And when we reflect back on empathy, having empathy, having compassion for others, then with that comes that cooperation. These are very powerful concepts. Um, the issue of forgiveness comes up many times when we're dealing with traumas that we may have experienced in our life, be it physical, emotional, or sexual abuse. Many times people may ask, well, Kabir, I am not at that point where I can forgive. And again, on a continuum, on this, when we're looking at healing, forgiveness may sometimes take years to get to that point where we are able to pardon someone for a grievance that we may um, have experienced or had you know, been perpetrated upon us. So again, understanding all these particular dynamics of emotional intelligence are very, very um, unique in, of, in and of themselves and also really being able to place them in all different parts and in our life journeys. So empathy, ability to 
understand another person's feelings, compassion, cooperation, and forgiveness. These are all probably very, when we look at life in its, really, in its real state, um, it comes to the point where, where are we in understanding anger management as a whole? And it's many things that go into anger management. So I want to illustrate as we come to a conclusion in our discussion of anger management that we've talked about communication, we've talked about anger management in and of itself, we've talked about stress, and we've talked about stress and stress management, and we'll talk about, and we've talked about emotional intelligence. So anger management is a very in-depth topic, and many times it's not just as simple as when you see someone in a mall that ex displaying anger, well, the question should be asked, where is that anger coming from? And remembering that it's a secondary emotion, it could be many things that are happening in one's life. Um, the birth of a child could be a stressor. There could be many things in our economic times today, someone may have lost a job of many years and that could be a significant stressor in their lives. So before we react, to what that anger is existing or what we are seeing, we really need to have a really thorough understanding of how we deal with anger and anger management. So I encourage everyone to really take some time to explore or even seek out an anger management program and really work on these different concepts and dynamics, you know, how we communicate with one another and understand one another is very important in all relationships, you know, how we express our feelings and emotions. And there's another dynamic that we've talked about before about impulse control. You know, when something happens in our lives, you know, how do we react or do we go back to that discipline of thinking first and understanding what am I observing, what am I feeling before I react, either verbally or with a behavior. And these are sometimes modeled by most people, when we get into a crisis state to where something may happen, and people will say, well, why did you not react? And I says, well, I have been on that journey of exploring, you know, we talked about that mantra again, the insight, awareness, and exercising appropriate judgment, meaning the ability to make appropriate choices and decisions. This is our pathos slash life mantra that we will be hearing throughout all of our episodes. And with anger management, these are very, very effective concepts. Um, we talked about the rages, road rage. You'll see this many times as we travel to and from. If you live in Southern California, it's a very commuter area, and there's many times incidents on a highway where people are traveling for significant times, and there's traffic congestion, there's the stresses of being on the road two or three hours one way, and how do we handle these incidents where somebody may cut us off? And again, here we go with those feelings and impulse control. What do we do? What do we say? How do we handle that particular incident? You know, if someone gets into a fender bender and it may be very something that was accidental or beyond someone else's control, but how do we handle that at that particular moment? Impulse control. And Remember these other concepts that we talked about. When you get into a situation, where is that emotional intelligence that kicks in? When you get out there, you know, your ability to understand that other person's feelings, the compassion, you know, the cooperation. Now, to get that cooperation, one must or should hopefully have that ability to have empathy and compassion. And with that, you will find that cooperation really comes into play. So let's take a look at all these things and really hopefully integrate them into our, our psyche, if you will, and put them into our toolbox. And as we move on, we will further explore, you know, many different topics in our episodes of Pathos. So until we meet again, I wish all of you peace, unconditional love, and happiness. If you are experiencing issues with today's topic and need professional guidance, contact us at 866-726-7881 or through our website, www.enlcinc.com.